you know, we start the stream tonight talking because the Raiders, Devontae Adams, has requested a trade. And, you know, obviously the 49ers um, have had their whole situation with Ayuk, and eventually they got him signed. Now he's playing. He's not playing particularly great, but he's looking a little bit better each and every week. That's what how I would describe it. Um, has he looked great? No. Has he looked like the player that we saw last year? No. But has he looked a little bit better every single week? I'd say, yeah, I'd say he has. Um, but what do you think? I mean, what is, what does this trade request mean for the 49ers, either for them directly or to them indirectly? If he winds up, I don't know, in Kansas city as a replacement for Rashi rice or, um, in green Bay or, in, you know, or, or possibly in Minnesota, or I mean, where is what's your thought on Devontae Adams' trade request? Do you think the Raiders ultimately will trade him? They supposedly oh, yeah. want a second round pick um, for him in return. Should the Niners get involved in Devontae Adams? He's a he's a he's a Fresno guy. Um, he's a very polished receiver. Um, should they go after him? What do you think? I mean, obviously, it'd be nice to have another Avenger for Brock Purdy, who doesn't need the Avengers, by the way. But, I mean, yeah, it'd be awesome to see Devontae Adams, you know, the Cali guy out in the Bay. It's not going to happen, though. I mean, the Niners had a chance to try to get him. And I know a lot of Niner fans say trade B.A., whatever. There's no way they trade B.A., especially after they extended him. It's not going to happen. I would love it. I mean, I would love to see, you know, Devontae Adams with the Niners. But realistically, I think he's going to go – Probably to the Jets. That's the one team because, look, the Jets, they need an offensive, you know, leader out there. Um, Garrett Wilson's good, but he needs another guy out there. The offensive attack was terrible this week. They scored nine points. You got Aaron Rodgers crying out there. Tay Adams, Rodgers, that was the money combo back in Green Bay. I mean, there's probably a lot of other teams that are rumored, obviously. Hopefully it's nobody in the NFC. I would hate to see the Chiefs, but I think my prediction is Jets lose this weekend. They're going to be freaking out. Robert Salah's seat is hot. It's going to get hotter. He's going to pull the trigger. They're going to go all out and get Devontae Adams. I think the Raiders are definitely willing to trade him. There was, you know, the request today. Antonio Pierce doesn't seem like him and Adams are working out. And the quarterback situation has been terrible with the Raiders since Devontae Adams got there. He went there for car, cars in New Orleans. My prediction is Devontae goes to the Jets. Now, you did did, uh, have the ASU connection with Pierce. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I know. I know here's the thing. It doesn't make sense for the Niners. Why? Because when you sign a player, you give them a bunch of bonus money. And when you mm-hmm. trade that player, you're you're paying, you know, you're paying the bonus money. So the bonus money is all with the Niners. So they're not trading. They're not trading Ayuk. He's not going anywhere. <clears throat> if they were gonna trade him, they should have traded him before. And it's they're just not doing it. Rock Eastwood says checking in from Japan, even on vacation. Can't stay away from my boys. Go Niners win a streak incoming. I like that. I like that. Thank you. I, like uh, I am become I am become deaf destroyer of words. I'd love Niners to get Devonte Adams, but there's zero chance. Yeah, I agree. And and one thing I want to add to that is, I mean, if Brandon Ayuk was rejecting every trade this offseason, what's to say he wants to go to? You know, the the Raiders Raiders now knowing their situation with their quarterback. Like, yeah, him and Pierce have a connection, but is it strong enough of connection to go play with no good, like a bad quarterback? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. I just think the it doesn't work for the Niners financially. Um, And if the Raiders are going to move off of Devontae, I mean, wouldn't they want to move off of the cash? I mean, it seems Mm -hmm. like they um, now I don't know. Chase Sr. did a whole video on it today saying that you know, it could make sense and, and, um, this and that, but I just, I don't see it happening. I just don't see it happening. Mark case is BA in a second for Devante. Who says no, I say no, I wouldn't give that. I, first of all, you know, this is the problem on the BA Devante thing. What is the length of an NFL wide receivers prime? Mm. I would say it's somewhere between, I'd, I'd say it's about, you know, maybe five to seven years. Oh, uh, that's your prime five to seven years. So let's say maybe year two, <clears throat> let's say year two, three, four, five, six. That's like your super prime. Maybe, you know, year seven, year eight. 
okay, maybe for guys who take care of themselves and stay healthy. Okay. Um, Ayuk's 26 and Devontae's 32 or 31 or 32. So it's like you're going to trade Ayuk, who's five years younger, in a, in a, you know, we're in a league where wide receivers, you know, prime is five to seven years. So you're trading a guy who's right in the middle of his prime for a guy who just finished his prime. I mean, and what, and now the Niners are going to throw an extra second round pick. I mean, that makes no sense at all. If yeah. BA were to tr- be traded for Devonte, it would be BA for Devonte in a pick. It wouldn't be BA in a pick for Devonte. I don't, I, at least I don't think so. Um, you're, you're, it's like it's like I'm selling you a car that has ten thousand miles, and you're you know giving me back a car that has a hundred and twenty thousand miles. <laughs> yeah, it makes you know, no like, sense. It makes no sense. And then what I'm going to give you something extra? What because I don't like my you know I mean it, yeah, it makes no it, sense. And and I, here's the thing, Larry. Like I think Devonte is a fantastic receiver. He's had a he great career. But you're right. He's towards the end of his prime. You know, I say a receiver is like three to four, maybe a little less than you. I say like there's like three or four like. Just fantastic years. And then it falls apart. Every player in the NFL has a certain shelf value where they're, like, so good. And after that, you know, they they might be good, depending on, like you said, how they take care of themselves. But eventually, they kind of start to slow down. The injuries take a toll, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the thing about Brandon Ayuk is I think the Niner fans are just so frustrated because of how everything's played out this offseason. And rightfully so. We should all be upset. You know, he hasn't played up to that contract yet. $30 million, I feel like – you said it earlier. He is getting better. I think this was his best game from the weekend. I mean, he made some really big catches. He made a $30 million catch that, you know, fingertip diving catch. Like, that's the effort we want to see out of IU. He hasn't had that, like, statement game, and I think he can have it soon. I think Niner fans are just frustrated. Oh, throw him away. He doesn't want to be here. The shorts incident from last week. But I think he's closing in on becoming a better, like, at that point we want him to. You got to remember, he didn't have preseason. He didn't have training camp. These, this last month was his preseason and training camp. I think he will continue to get better. And I think this Sunday, he's going to have his big game and people are going to forget about trading him. Well, and also, I mean, if you really did want to trade Brandon Ayuk, wouldn't you want to get a, a part that you don't have instead of a redundant part? I mean, like, what do the Niners have right now? If you look at their receiving core, they have Juwan Jennings. What's Juwan Jennings? He's a big, slow receiver who runs great routes and has great hands. Okay, that's who he is. They have Debo Samuel. What's Debo Samuel? Debo Samuel's another guy. Doesn't have an awesome 40 time, but he's great on gadget plays. You know, really good around the line of scrimmage. Heck, he caught a bomb this week. Mm -hmm. Um, But for the most part, he's, you know, your short and intermediate guy. Uh, You know, he's not a great route runner, but he's dangerous with the ball in his hands, and he's a dangerous run after the catch guy. Okay, well, if you're going to move Ayuk, I, you know, I, and, and, and I don't like the idea of moving Ayuk, but if I was moving Ayuk, I'd much rather move him for a Tyreek Hill type who's, mm. a, you know, a speed merchant, a, mm. somebody who's going to be, you know, somebody who's a quick, six, speedy guy that stretches the field and creates space for others over another slowish, big receiver with great hands who runs good routes. I mean, don't you have that already in Jennings? It, I mean, I know Devontae's got a better as better numbers career than Jennings. I know he's had a much better career. He's also played with Aaron Rodgers, mm-hmm. but he's a lot of he's he's very much in the same category of Jawan Jennings. Big, not gonna run by you, great route runner, super trustworthy, terrific ball skills, great hands. You know what I mean? That's what he is. So I, I don't know. I don't if you're, if I'm going to trade Ayuk, I need somebody that fits in with Debo and with Jennings. And since those guys are not that fast, that's what I want to prioritize. If I was trading Ayuk, not a, not a route running older receiver who's slow. I, you know, you're going to, so you're going to become a slower team. I mean, seriously, I mean that that might be the one of the dumbest ideas of all time. Let's take our wide receiver core that's already among the slowest in football. And let's get rid of the guy who runs the best for another guy who's slower than the guys we got. You know, I mean, it's just that makes no sense. Now, if you want to add Tyreek Hill and you want to trade Ayuk to get Tyreek Hill and you want to throw picks and Dolphins are out of it, hey, you know, Jalen Waddle. Now that makes sense to me. 
Jalen Waddle compliments Debo, compliments JJ. Tyreek Hill compliments Debo. He compliments JJ. Devontae is a redundant part. He's not, he's, I mean, that, that would be so stupid if they did that. Um, you'd be giving away all the guaranteed, all the money that you just traded him. You just paid him in bonus money. That's all money you just lost. And so it'd be a terrible financial decision for the cap because all that would accelerate into your cap. You'd pay every penny. Um, and then you're getting slower and less dynamic in the process. You're more sure handed, but I, I, I don't, you know, I, I, to me, if I'm going to move Ayuk at all, I want to get a dynamic home run hitter who can stretch the field. I want Tyreek. I don't want Devontae. That's my thought on it. No, and again, uh, Devontae's been a good receiver, but he's a very similar wide receiver to Brandon Ayuk, if you ask me. I know you said JJ, but, you know, actually a lot of people used to comp Brandon Ayuk to Devontae. So he's like a younger version of Adam. So it's like he's five years younger. Of, yeah, he's a, a younger version of Devontae, which, again, Adams is great. He has the pedigree, but he did play with Aaron Rodgers for a couple of years. So that might have been something to that. But, um, you know, they're very similar, both great route runners. Uh, I just, again, you got a younger guy that can have the same skill set as Devontae. Makes no sense. The cap hit is going to be crazy, just like you have Brandon Ayuk. It, it's a wash, really. And you have the younger version. Again, I think people are just frustrated, Larry, that Brandon Ayuk is not living up to his contract. I, I, I'm, I've been irritated with it, but I think he's coming around the corner. That game was a confidence booster in him. And you're right. Honestly, Juwan Jennings, seventh-round pick, you don't need a guy like Devontae Adams. The Niners get players that fit their system. I, I just think, you know, people want to get rid of one issue and, hey, Devontae's out there. Why don't, get, why don't we get him? That's just how fans are. They, they react to, oh, my God, he's available. Our team should get him. That's how it is. It's fun. That's how sports fans are. And I don't, you know, I don't hate it. 